Tango hygiene mistakes, and I'm guilty of one of these. First, your body. Always shower as close to the milonga start time as possible. As you all know, milonga means the tango dance uh, session. Use an antiperspirant, not only a deodorant. Men, avoid any kind of cologne or aftershave. You never know if the woman is sensitive to the scent. Use coconut oil, hair products to give your hair a nice, good smell. Now, what is personal hygiene? Brush teeth at least twice a day. Shower daily. Use deodorant. Shave daily. Wash hands regularly and wash hair regularly. And that one attribute of washing hands regularly cannot be overstated. Uh, the hands are the contaminant of carrying disease. So if you wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, uh, you should be well to go and avoiding medical issues. Your mouth. Yeah, this is very important because bad breath is more than just embarrassing. Avoid cooking with strong smell spices like onions, curry, or garlic because the smell gets on your clothes and on your breath. And this applies to men and women. Brush your teeth and tongue after a meal before you go out to the malonga. Avoid smoking after you shower and dress for the malonga. You know, when you smoke, that smell of the smoke gets on your shirt, gets on your body. If you're a woman, it gets on your dress, goes in your hair. It's very unattractive. We, met, we recommend Alatoid's breath freshness that have cinnamon. You know, cinnamon... Uh, is a very nice scent to it and it brings back memories of pleasant times, uh, uh, Christmas dinners, uh, wonderful scent is cinnamon. Have a piece of chocolate before you enter the milonga. Chocolate always gives us a pleasant aroma. Another thing, coffee. If you have coffee uh, in the milonga or any kind of alcoholic drinks, make sure you get uh, use a breath mint after. Sweat. Now, this is the one I'm guilty of. Last night, I went to a milonga. I had a jacket on, started dancing, everything was going fine. Then it got hot, I took off the jacket, and I was drenched. And I didn't follow what I'm recommending that you do, because I didn't think I was going to sweat that much. But this is what I should have done, and what men should do. Men, it's always a good idea to bring an extra shirt and a handkerchief if you tend to perspire during the dance. A t-shirt or a white t-shirt under your dress shirt will help if you sweat a lot during exercise. You know, the reason people that are healthy that exercise, they tend to sweat more than people who don't exercise. Men and women both, the antiperspirant will be worth its weight in gold. And this picture is what I looked like last night, exactly the blue shirt, and I was drenched. So I'm going to take my own advice from here on out, take an extra shirt, buy some white t-shirts to put under that. And now, tango attire. One of the things that makes tango a great couples dance is the fact that everybody dresses up for the milonga. Women wear pretty dresses and high heels. The men normally wear suits or short jackets. Everybody makes an effort to look good, and you should too. You're a member of the community, and being part of the community means that you should embrace the traditions and culture. Our YouTube channel, TangoOnTheHudson.com, the intimate embrace. We have over 700 videos on all things tango. We put up some wonderful videos of our own. Tango, everything you need to know, the five top mistakes in tango, milongas, the secret pleasures of Argentine tango, those are all ours, plus the one you're listening to now. The tango community. There's a feeling of community and inclusion in the Hudson Valley tango population, which is growing. There's always room for new members to come on to the tango dance floor. Tango dances are taking place all over the Hudson Valley, the world, and the tri-state area. You know, basically, you could go anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, and you'll find a tango dance. A milonga is going on every day of the week. So what are you waiting for? You know, you have to take tango lessons. You just can't go on and uh, ad-lib it. 
You have to understand the basic rules. Because once you understand the basic rules, then you could ad lib, then you could improvise. But without that, you're not going very far. And what's going to happen if you take out a lady to dance and you're not up to snuff, she's not going to dance with you again. It happened to me last night. So the ladies, the same thing. If a gentleman takes you out to dance and you haven't worked on practicing before the dance, he's not going to ask you out again. We recommend Dojo Dance Company here in the Hudson Valley. Wonderful young couple from Argentina that teach tango and they had a wonderful milonga last night and they have it on an ongoing basis. Their studio is at 464 Main Street Beacon, New York. Now, this is an endorsement, not an advertisement, because I think they're so wonderful. I want to share with, with all you guys out there. Also, I recommend TangoUnderTheTent.com, which is a non-profit tango organization in Sugarloaf, here in the Hudson Valley. Take advantage of all these wonderful people and get on board and get into a wonderful time with everybody dressed up and looking great and having a wonderful time. Go to TangoOnTheHudson.com for more articles, videos, information, and current events and where the Malongas are taking place. Subscribe and share these videos with everybody in your world. Bye-bye.